Whatever happened to the spawns that were given to us in the Black Ops 3 beta? I really missed those spawns. Those spawns were very reminiscent of the Black Ops 2 spawns, you know? And I know it made spawn trapping possible because the enemy team would spawn on one side and then if you push too far into their spawn, they would spawn on the other side of the map. And for me personally, I think it gave all the maps a better flow. I know that definitely helps in pub stomping and that's probably why they gave us this random system of spawns that we now have, which are more in line with the spawns that Ghost had and Advanced Warfare, which all of these spawns that everybody complains about, you know, how people spawn right behind you or they spawn the enemy team in an advantageous spot after you just kill them so they can come back and get a revenge kill or something like that. All that was made up by all these Activision Studios Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer to prevent spawn trapping, to prevent pub stomping, to prevent good players from killing the fun of just the casual Joe player out there. So now we have random spawns again, and we have these spawns that are just horrendous, and it's something that I've really been getting irked with here in Black Ops 3, is just the spawns are so bad. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a vent, a little bit of a rant in this video. Welcome to my Call of Duty gaming channel, by the way, I am Nessinator. The gameplay that you guys are watching in the background, I'm going to be using the CUDA. And this is a domination game here on Combine. Fun little gameplay to watch in the background. I got a lot of good gameplays coming up. I have actually some other gameplays from other AOVI clan members also going to be going up this week. So stay tuned for that. And uh, just a lot of good things coming up. But anyways, let me get back into my little rant here with you guys. And it's going to be about Black Ops 3 and just some of the issues I've been having with this game. It's still very, very laggy, of course, and we're going to get into that, too. Let me not get off track here. I want to talk about the spawns, and I just think the spawns in this game are worse than Ghost and Advanced Warfare. I really think the spawns in this game are bad, and I wish they would go back to the old system, but they won't. We're going to have to adapt to this. And the only thing that I can tell you guys out there is keep your head on the swivel, man. You can't really push too far in one direction. Uh, you have to turn around a lot, you know, you go one way and then you just turn around go back the other way because lo and behold they're going to be spawning behind you. And that's just the way these spawns work nowadays and I think this is the way it's going to be for all, you know, future Call of Duty titles. I think this is here to stay, you know, a lot of people are going to start complaining about the spawns and how bad the spawns are. You know, people are going to be spawning behind you, you're going to kill a guy and all of a sudden he's going to spawn in the room right in front of you. And uh, that's just the way it is now, so I guess that's something we're just going to have to get adept to. And uh, it's really going to have to make sure uh, to keep you uh, aware. You're going to have to be aware. You're, you're going to have to be all over the place. You're going to have to just make sure you keep your head on a swivel. And that's the best way to kind of counteract these um, spawns. And again, not to push too far uh, and, and go in one direction too long. you got to go back the other way and turn around. That's just the way it is. Uh, the other things that I'm having problems with in this game right now is the lag, the connection issues. You know, before when the game first came out, we couldn't even form a party to uh, find a game because they would continually freeze and kick us out. Well, it's starting to do that a little bit again now, but now it's not really so much freezing us out and kicking us. It's not even finding games. And it kind of just seems like this game is preventing people from playing in parties. Another thing, I don't know if they're trying to stop pub stompers from playing together as a team and, and, and pub stomping, you know, casual players out there, but... Playing in a party in this game is not fun, and a lot of the times you're in a, you end up finding yourself playing by yourself, which again is not that big of a deal, but I do prefer to play with my friends, and the only reason that I enjoy playing alongside good players and teammates is because I don't like playing alongside randoms. I, I hate losing games where you go really, really positive, where you have a really good game, and your teammates are just awful. I'd rather go 10-2 and two and win the game with good teammates than go 40-5 and five and lose the game. Uh, that's just my personal feelings on Call of Duty. I prefer to win than to do really, really well uh, by myself. And, uh, you know, it, it's just it's tough out there. The game, again, is uh, is not finding games. Uh, there's a lot of lag involved, too, when you play in parties. I, I don't know what that's all about either. And it just seems like this game is uh, incomplete. I've said that before. It feels unfinished. Uh, I guess they're starting to now usher in things for clan wars and clans and all that stuff and the theater mode is still broken the theater mode uh, really still doesn't work the way it's supposed to I don't like the way it doesn't show the final kill cam when you go back and play the games in theater mode it doesn't even show the ranks of the players it's just really really bad and um, I don't know it's weird because you know 
for me personally, I didn't really think that Ghost and Advanced Warfare were that bad of a Call of Duty. At least they worked, you know. At least the hit detection was there in Ghost, man. You know, again, I said this before, the only reason there was a lot of campers and that game was ridden by campers was because there wasn't a dependable UAV system. And then in Advanced Warfare, uh, you know, with that was, you know, everybody didn't like the new EXO movements, which I ended up liking. Uh, yeah, the game felt a little lagging, the hit detection was a little weird at times, but not as bad as this. Uh, definitely not as bad as this, and, you know, there's times that you go out there, and again, I'm saying this from a person, you guys saw my latest stats video, I'm a 2.4, I'm a good player, it's just, you know, <laughs> I still have a lot of gripes with this game, because there's a lot of gun battles that I shouldn't be losing, uh, that I feel that this game is just kind of bullshitting me with, uh, there'll be times when I'm shooting someone dead to rights, and they're in a full sprint, and somehow they pull up and shoot me, and they don't even have quick draw on and I'll be using an SMG and they'll pull up and shoot me with, you know, an LMG or something. It just doesn't make any sense. And uh, it's just very inconsistent. This game can be very stressful and very aggravating. But um, that's just me personally. Again, I usually don't do these videos, these gripes or rants, but I feel like I have to say this. You know, I feel like I have to tell you guys, yeah, I'm having a good time as far as I'm still winning. You know, the game is fun, but there are just still so many lingering issues that I don't think this was ready to be released and I don't think it's that good of a Call of Duty title the way it stands right now. I, I just don't. Um, you know, this flinch is really bad, the lag's really bad, spawns are really bad, uh, the play style of a lot of these people out here is just really campy and it's making for a tough time, but I'm getting a hold of it. But anyways, that's enough. Let me stop ranting here. You guys, thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. The video's coming to an end. This is Nessinator. I appreciate it all. Stay tuned. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm out.